I, I think of the three pillars of the psychedelic experience, the set and the setting and the drug. The one that's probably most dispensable is the drug. Um, you know, kind of depending on what, what you're going into any particular experience for and, and you know, who you are and what the environment is within which that experience take, takes place um, is a lot more of what steers the effect than the pharmacology of the drug. You know, Stan Groff speaks of, of, of uh, the psychedelics as nonspecific mental amplifiers. So, um, you know, I think, I mean, look at Charlie Manson. I, I mean, he gave his, his group a lot of LSD and look what, you know, they did. So I think it depends on your intention and who you're taking the drugs around and what you're, what, what you're hoping to, you know, get out of it. You know, so, um, so I think in some ways my studies were, it was completely hands-off. It was just give the drug and let's just observe the pharmacological effects as they impact on the mind. Um, it, it, was, it was enlightening in a way uh, because I was either hoping or expecting for really acutely transformative experiences that people would come out of it saying, I found God or hallelujah or um, I now understand why I've been in five bad marriages or that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I think I learned from that um, that if you're going to be giving psychedelics with a psychotherapeutic intent, you really have to stack things in your favor to elicit a psychotherapeutic effect. Um, you need all the bells and whistles that occur in a psychotherapeutic environment. Um, I'm a relationship with a therapist, a, a comfortable situation. Um, you want to present the person with some stressful ideas and discussion of material to spur them to make some progress in problems that they're having. So I think a completely hands-off, it's the drugs doing their work, isn't really going to be that helpful. I think they need to be combined in some kind of model for the benefit that you're intending to see take place. And the same thing with creativity research. You just don't give the drug to somebody that's trying to do some problem solving and expect them to solve the problem in and of itself. It's just not the pharmacology. Um, there's a person, there's a mind, there's an environment, there's a culture, there's a family, there's a work scene. Um, yeah, so the, all of those need to be really optimized and steered towards the effect that you're hoping to see.